Which among the following should be the first clinical suspicion in a child presenting with acute onset focal neurological deficit? Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from Prep Ladder. Which among the following should be the first clinical suspicion in a child presenting with acute onset focal neurological deficit? It's a very common phenomena you will come across. Child presenting in emergency with focal neurological deficit, you will ask the history. Previously, the child was fine. Acute onset. It can be a newborn, it can be an infant, it can be a child. They have not specified the age. What are the options? Brain abscess, neurocysticercosis, listen carefully and stroke. Nelson very clearly says, any acute onset focal neurological deficit in pediatric age group, the first clinical possibility you should consider is stroke syndrome. It can be ischemic stroke, it can be hemorrhagic stroke. In case it is a more subacute kind of a presentation with prominent fever or associated constitutional symptoms, seizures, fever, etc. are present. Then the diagnosis will move in favor of more likely brain abscess. Brain abscess does not happen randomly. There has to be an underlying risk factor in majority of these patients. You will have a tetralogy of fellow patient. You will have a immunocompromised patient. You can have a recent head trauma patient, patient with bacteremia or a sick child, primary immunodeficiency child. These are the children who will have brain abscess. Uh, Neurocysticercosis can have focal neurological deficit, but such acute onset, uh, usually they are associated with other symptoms like raised features of raised ICP, etc. And uh, neurocysticercosis, yes, it is one of the possibilities, but the guidelines are very clear. Stroke should be the first clinical suspicion. Listen carefully, is a neuronal migration disorder, so it will not be an acute onset disease. So the answer to this question is D. So what are the key things, key points taken from Nelson that you need to remember? So Nelson says, acute onset of a focal neurological deficit in a child is stroke until proven otherwise. Please remember this. Second, perinatal stroke. Right in the neonatal period, it is more common than stroke in an older child. So perinatal period is more prone to stroke compared to older children. Now the features are mainly in the form of hemiparesis. Focal seizures can also be seen. Other than uh, motor movement, you can have visual, speech, sensory deficits. They are the common clinical features of stroke in the pediatric age group. What is the most sensitive investigation? Diffusion weighted MRI is considered to be the most sensitive investigation. And then perinatal stroke, Nelson says that there are two distinct clinical presentations that you should remember. The first is the more common presentation. In uh, We call it as a neonatal presentation. In the neonatal presentation, these children will have, uh, the onset will be within 24 hours, 24 to 28 hours of birth. And it will be in the form of focal seizures. The second presentation will be the presentation in an older child, usually in fancy. So these children will be otherwise asymptomatic. They had stroke in the perinatal period, but it was undiagnosed. It was primarily a motor phenomena. These older children will show a hand dominance. They will show a hand dominance. In the, in the infancy period itself, which is atypical. And the, when they are evaluated, you should suspect possibly stroke in the patient. Remember that this neonatal presentation is found to be more common. However, these children are also not very rare. They are uh, slightly rare compared to the neonatal presentation. So these are the key points related to stroke that are relevant for your super specialty exam, if you look at the past papers also. Music